hey guys welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while <laughs> like a long long while so i uh, minimized my subscriptions and that's why you don't see that many videos but i need to get it together so that i can bring some videos and you guys can start seeing me and the kids more um i have not i've neglected the channel but i have not forgotten it um, so this video in particular is like a part two to the pharmacy technician video that I did three years ago. Um, a lot of people liked the video. I think a lot of people felt that it was informative. Um, I was inventing. It was more of like an awareness and be aware before you get into this field and you put your all in it, what to expect, at least from retail pharmacy. Well, I'm doing this video because there was a lot of suggestions on so many other things you can do with it the hospital which i made it clear that i couldn't with the certification that i have because that's not what i really want to do um, but you can work in the hospital you can work in um, a medical facility a clinic um, basically anywhere that will need to give prescriptions um, surgical sites you know anything like that of course the jobs are very hard to find so the quickest ones that you will be able to find will be retail which are not very well paid at all um, anyways, fast forwarding, I found a job working in a medical center for older people. And it was like a one-stop shop where they will come see the doctors, whether it was a sick visit or routine visit, and they needed like, you know, the three month supply under medication, um, or just, you know, some antibiotics, whatever the case may have been. We were working in that, and I say we because it was only two of us. And so this video is to let you know, not only my experience, but to make you aware of what to expect in a setting like that. Um, the reason why I left the job was because, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of issues started coming up as far as only one person being in the pharmacy. Here's why. So same certification, you still have to do like a little kind of like a like a little test to make sure you know what you're talking about because they it's just not just a certificate so a lot of these places will require you to do a little bit more and to prove that you actually can work in the pharmacy so first of all working in a medical center or a medical clinic or a um well yeah medical medical center medical clinic urgent care not the emergency room not the hospital but those smaller, not even the standalone um, hospital adjacent, so whatever. This is more so like urgent care, you know, where it's small, you go in and out, and you know, they can provide you with the medicine after, you know, if you want to when you leave. Like, there's a lot of places here um, where I'm at that you can go and you can get your antibiotics or whatever, and you pay like 10 bucks. Um, anyways, so this company was, uh, of course, a medical center, and but it was kind of like sales in a way. Like they had some type of affiliation with insurance companies, Humana's or whatever. Long story short, if you're planning on doing a job like that, be aware that for one, it's only going to be one, two, maybe even three people in there, and you have to take care of everything. When I say everything, I'm talking about unloading the truck, doing inventory by yourself weekly, at least at this place, it was weekly. Um, you have to submit reports weekly. You have to refill prescriptions for the patients that are in the center, which is 10 rooms. So imagine that, and it's every 15 minutes an appointment, and it's like six different doctors. No pharmacist on site, so you have to chase the doctors to get the signatures. Um, what else? You have people calling in, asking if the prescriptions are ready. You have to check messages and submit refills. Like if you were in a pharmacy setting, in the retail pharmacy, um, then you have people coming to get their prescriptions that was already refilled because you call them. You also have to call them to let them know the prescription's ready. If they don't pick it up within seven days, you have to call them again. Two people doing all of that, I thought retail was bad. Honestly, the medical facility, I stood there for a whole year and I couldn't take it anymore because they couldn't understand that as a mom, I have three kids that get sick. My coworker also had a child. And so it just, for like at least four months or so, it was one of us always working because of scenarios like that, or I had my appointments, I had to leave early. Either way, administration did not find coverage for us to have. So it just felt very overwhelming. And it was just, it was just too much, too much for you to have to do it all, not get recognition, not get a bonus or a raise, and they're always expecting more, and then they're not understanding the pharmacy world. 
So, you know, it's a lot of back and forth, a lot of miscommunication, uh, misunderstandings, and lack of organization from that company. I'm not sure if all the settings are like that, but I'm assuming they are because a lot of these companies, which is a lot, especially the company Concert, I think it's called, they're trying to um, implement this pharmacy within the location. And they're trying to get medical assistants or the nurses to actually um, pull the drugs and dispense them or whatever. Now this place, of course, they had a prepackaged bottle, so you don't have to like actually count, which was a plus. And then the prescriptions, instead of it being 800 prescriptions a day, it was two to 300, which was also a plus. So coming in, I was excited because I'm like, oh my God, finally something great, something new, <clears throat> something that should be more you know, easier, especially with the whole standing up all the time in retail pharmacy. I was able to have a chair and sit down. Wrong. I had a chair, but sitting down, I was running everywhere. I was going out to deliver prescriptions. I was going in the rooms to deliver prescriptions. I was going in the freaking break room to find the doctor to sign for the prescriptions. It's, let's just say you definitely get more steps in than in a retail pharmacy where it's very small. Um, but that didn't actually help me lose weight at all. If you see, I gained more. Um, probably because of the stress. You know, then they had this point system. A lot of places have this point system when you get in trouble. So needless to say, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it because you're always on the go. It's a lot of work for the little pay. You don't get paid more than retail at all. It's the same crap. You actually have people in there that leave to go back to retail just because in a retail environment, you feel like you have a team and they have your back. When a customer comes with an attitude, they have your back. They try to de-escalate or help out. In the medical facility, it's like you on your own. Why you're not doing your job? Why this person don't have the prescriptions? I can't help it if it doesn't go through insurance. And what a lot of doctors will do is submit the same refill back to back. And the system that they had was so old that it was just shitty, for lack of a better word. So you had to pull the, the drugs, scan them, then put labels. It was so, it was, it was retarded. Anyways, it didn't work and they're going to continue to lose people like that. But this video is not for me to vent. It's for me to let you know that if you're thinking that a medical center will be better, make sure they have at least, at least between three to four people in that pharmacy. Otherwise, you're going to be running around everywhere. You're going to be stressed out. Um, it's going to be a mess. The pharmacy that it was in was so freaking small. Um, it was so small. They had like, it was very unprofessional. Um, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it for any urgent care, any medical clinics, because they are going to overwork you and underpay you. And you're not going to get recognition or a bonus or a raise. It's really not ideal. You will think that the system is better because all oh, you have to get the doctors to sign. I had a lot of issues with the doctors not wanting to sign their prescriptions. So that puts you behind. That puts you behind. A lot of doctors putting in prescriptions to be refilled that won't go through insurance. So that... That's just a whole mess. Um, the biggest issue I had working in a medical facility as a pharmacy technician was not only not being able to sit down often and not being able to have overtime, um, but at the same time, it was a lot of, it was, there was no teamwork. There was nobody having your back when shit hit the fan or a patient was, you know, uncomfortable. People will come and say that they, they never got their medicines. Like, honey, you sign here for it. You got your medicine. So, you know, a, a lot of those things that are very different from retail, but at the same time, they are very similar. No teamwork, no employees, so understaffed again, no pharmacist on site. Um, the people you work with are not aware at all what a pharmacy technician does or how much of the work it is. Um, the insurances were an issue too, which in retail is the same thing. So the only advantages that you will get from working in a setting like that will be that you get to go to the bathroom better than in retail and they're not going to pay you. Um, you know, you have your break, which is longer than 30 minutes, depending on the company. Um, you have benefits if you're full-time, which you get that with retail as well, but you don't have a drive-through and you don't have patients yelling at you all the time. It does happen, but not all the time. So four advantages. The disadvantages is that you don't have a teamwork. Um, they don't excuse any family emergencies that happen to you. They're quick to fire you because of that. So most of the time you're always gonna be working 
by yourself if it's only two of you and somebody um, calls out because there's no backup, there's nobody helping you, nobody else care. You had the nurses that had to do their job, the doctors that had to do their job. Nobody was worried about helping the pharmacy to deliver these prescriptions. Um, and then an old system that they're using, it doesn't it, at all, it doesn't help at all. So needless to say, I hope that this video has not only enlightened you in a whole different world of pharmacy, um, but helped you somehow make a decision whether you want to move on from retail. I think the biggest thing that I missed working in a medical facility um, or a clinic compared to the pharmacy, the retail pharmacy was that I, no one had my back. I had no team players, no team members. There was no team. It was me and my coworker and that was our team. And if she wasn't there, I was by myself. And if I wasn't there, she was by herself and nobody cared. Nobody cared, but they also wanted to know why were you behind? Why was this not filled? There was no de-escalating from the front desk to management. They just didn't care. They wanted more from you, but they didn't understand the process. They didn't care to understand the process. Um, so it, it's it's really um, heartbreaking in a way to know the retail's better, but it's only better because you have a team and everyone knows how you feel, how overwhelmed and underwork. I mean, overworked and underpaid, you feel. So it, we, we come together in retail. In the medical center, it's like, oh, that's just a whole different department. They got to figure out what the heck they're doing because they're not doing this correctly or yada, 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 you know, whenever things go wrong. And it wasn't often. It was just the, okay, when somebody calls out, it's just you, yourself, and I. Like, you, you can't work a pharmacy by yourself and expect everything to go as it's supposed to because you're receiving calls, you're... Delivering prescriptions to people are picking up prescriptions to the patients that are in the center as well. Um, getting doctors to sign them. You're doing, you can't do prior authorization. So that was one good thing. And you can't do overrides. But then the patients will get mad because you're like, oh, you need a prior authorization. You know, oh, you can't get this. So it, it was, it was eye opening. I would never go back to any facility like that, no urgent care. I think in the hospital, it would be better for everybody because you have more people. Definitely work with a company that has more than five employees in the pharmacy, I will say. Um, I also interview for like a mom and pop shop. That was horrible. If we thought about CVS and all these major companies not paying you enough, mom and pops pharmacies don't pay you not even what the retails ones that are paying you. So if let's say CVS and Walgreens are starting you off at $15 an hour, these ones are starting you at 13, maybe even less because they're so small and they wanna contain it and yada, yada, yada. They can't afford to pay more, but it's a lot of work for you to not want to pay more for your employees. Anyways, this video is way too long. I hope I haven't just been yapping, yapping, yapping. At the same time, the experience on the last video was mine. So if you don't think that was helpful, just swipe and move along. You don't need to say any negative comments on my videos. This is my experience and I'm sharing it with you guys. If it's too long, put it on two eggs. And if you don't like what I'm saying, move on. That's, that's fine. I, I won't get mad. You won't hurt my feelings. Anyways, for the subscribers that have been here since day one, thank you so much. To the new people, welcome and stay tuned. Um, we are trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that maybe I can get like 20 cents per video. I don't even know how that works. But anyways, that's a whole other thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.